Hey there, what's up? You want Buddha Kodi here for Provence Go Studio, and we welcome you on our second tutorial. In this tutorial, we will going to show you how to use two third particles plugin. That is, one is Trap Code Particular, and another is Video Copilot Optical Flare. Now let's take a look of this. So as you can see, you can see here optical fill and it said boost up and there are some light rays coming from the sun. Doesn't make any sense, but in, you know, as I think it's looking very cool. So let's get to this. Now composition and composition. Make it HD and we will going to call this work. Now we will tag our footage. Now as you can see uh, it's very nice background. I have taken it. You you can also go outside and some fun with your camera. And now you can see in this uh, there are some clouds um, in front of the sun. So what I'm going to do, I will cut a, make a duplicate and cut a mask of the clouds. So by the way, press Control D for duplicate. Now take the upper upper uh, layer and cut a mask. I am in hurry so I will do it, make it quick but uh, you can take your time hard work is always appreciated so as you can see no changes but it's there so press mm for feather uh, for showing all the option now feather is a little so looking pretty good now what I am going to do uh, I, I will make them both a 3D layer uh, press F4 to toggle the switches or you can also click here now uh, in the starting I will create the essential part for this tutorial like layer no camera it will be a 3D project and layer no light for this light I am going to call this and As you can see, uh, our light is affecting the 3D object. If you can see, so now what I'm going to do, Le get put less selected, press AA, and accept light, ac accept light off. Now, from here, go to top view, get it back. We want our light to come from the sun, so put it here again back to active camera, put it in the sun and back to top camera. Now I'm I will animate it after one second. So press P for position, start the stopwatch here, go two seconds away, take it right to the camera just crossing through it now what I'm going to do I want to make it uh, come a little wobbly so in some place I, I'm going to curve it now back to active camera as you can see it's coming in the straight it is coming in a straight direction uh, so I am going to change it a little now let's layer new solid make it black and let's call this party cool now effect trap code particle now for the emitter setting emitter group we are going to make it from point to the light keep that in mind it is very important to call your light emitter if you don't do this the third particle uh, the third particle again particular will not accept it and now you can see the particles are following the light now what I'm going to do to make it a lining strike like uh, all these settings from here to here I'm going to make it a zero
and now you can see the straight line it's not looking that good so i'm what i'm going to do i'm i will go in particle from sphere to strike light looking pretty good as you can see there are some particles are seen so emitter particle per second i'm going to increase it and it's looking pretty good so now as you can see the strike is coming if you are not satisfied with the position you can change it but for now i will leave it as it is now get to the particles you can do any color i will make it yellow as it's coming from sun sun is yellow doesn't make any sense but now make it add the transform mode we should add we add you can also try screen and there are many others now get in the starlight you can increase the number of strikes uh oh, it's too much make it back oh okay make it back same and you can increase the random speed to do anything which work best for you now you can see it's looking pretty good now get to the our optical fair now layer new solid we are going to of for optical fair if in fact we do copilot you can get it from the site but it's a little, little costly on transparent look at here now what a trick i like to do just close it uh, now layer new light we are going to call this a light now it's our a light should the should this off or a light selected what i'm going to do put it take it back to the a light so i saw this for the same uh put it in the in place of sun from there we from where we will, we will have our optical fair put it in the right position and now for the optical fair layer i'm going to do for the optical fair i'm going to do track light so type to track lights now it will track light as you can see it is tracking the both both lights and uh, which one is our particular one 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 is our particular so i'm going to do from name start to from anything to a now it will only take the position of our light which name start from a pretty good tip i think so uh as you can see uh, it is a very warm one and uh, it's behind the cloud so for this i am going to do put it beneath the cloud and it's ready to go now go option in the option you can select any one of the optical flare you like uh, i use natural flares mm, for flares i'm going to choose blue blue steel now for this is too much blue but our sun is yellow so i'm going to change the setting of this from global to custom and i'm going to make it a bright yellow looking pretty good and for this strike i'm going to make it a little orange all right now it's looking bright and as is you can see the sun is looking bright now let's get to our animation now we will animate our um, brightness so as as you can see in the comp first sun brighten ups and then partic particles start coming so as you can see the particles start from here so brightness make it take it high and from here 100 take it a little away for this i get 50 now you can see it's looking pretty good now we are going to 
as you can see it's almost done the particles are coming you can change the position of the emitter to change the directions of this now now for our camera moment um, the profit of this a light is that as you can see it's on here the profit is only this that when we move our camera press cc for camera controls as you move our camera the light will stay there but if we were not using this light let me show you drag light 2d it will stay there it doesn't seem to go drag light now let's animate our camera sp4 position as you can see start from here so keep it back take it back here now one cool tip I, wa I want to show you that is uh, for our particular as you can see there are one two three four there are four different different objects coming from the light uh, with the light strikes so for making that we'll go opacity over life now what I'm going to do Just clear this and everything will be nothing. Now I will make some horizontal graph like bar like. As you can see th now there are many more of them. And this cool cool thing is that if you want let's say you want only four so one two three and four there will be only four so as you can see it's almost complete almost i should say it's complete unfortunately it's the end and you can see it looking pretty good now go outside click some photos and uh, use third particle plugin but as you can see they are pretty much costly so you don't mind you can do something good and um, this is the end and i am shivansh from the studio and i will see you guys next time